Hey everybody, Steve here with Printavo, and in this video I'd like to show you how you can use Printavo's quotes page to get a high level view of conversations you've had with customers that haven't quite yet converted into sales, and how you can use Printavo's invoices page to easily follow up on money that's owed to you. Now, the first place we're going to want to uh, take a look at before we get into our lists is we're going to head to my account and we're just going to go to the page that says customize invoice statuses. Now, we've spent some time on this page previously, but just to recap, in case uh, you've forgotten or maybe this is the first video you're seeing on this, when you set your statuses on this page, when you build your statuses, Every status is going to have a checkbox next to it. Now, the box can, of course, either be checked or unchecked. But if that box is checked, then any job that's in a status with a checked box will show up on your quotes page, right? And it'll display as a quote to your, you and your customer. If a job is in a status with an unchecked box, then that will display on your invoices page and it will show to you and your customer uh, as an invoice. So. Uh, you, again, you're just going to want to establish what you're defining as a quote, what you're defining as an invoice, and of course, always make sure you save your work. Now, once you've set up your quotes and your invoices, or your statuses that will be listed as quotes and invoices, you can use the powers of our quotes page and our invoices page. So to access the quotes page, simply just click on quotes over here on the left, and then you're going to get a high-level view of your total opportunities that are out there, right? We're putting a monetary value, a dollar value to conversations you've had where the customer hasn't said yes yet. And then we're breaking that down even further by status, right? So in this example, you can see that we've had $181,000 worth of conversations, right? And $116,000 worth of those haven't even been sent out for approval yet. So we can use the quotes page, and all I did was click on quote here to isolate these jobs that are in quotes. I can say, well, maybe this job, well, they, um, you know, they, we talked to them on the phone, you know, they're, they're, they're not interested, you know, we can, we can delete this job or archive quote this job, or, you know, this customer, uh, you know, they, they were really interested, we need to send this quote out for approval, right? So again, use your quotes page to, uh, to uh, isolate and uh, see where the roadblocks in your quote process are and what needs to be sent out and work with your shop to, again, convert these conversations into real dollars. Now, if I head to the invoices page, you'll see the top looks similar, but slightly different. Whereas on the quotes page, we have the statuses and a dollar value up top. On the invoices, what we're looking at is how much money is, is past due and it's not necessarily separated by status up top. Now you can filter what statuses you're currently viewing uh, by using the, the filter bar here, and then you just select and then uh, you know update that. But uh, similar to that quote page, if I want to get a high level view of, all right, who's in this case, you know, 31 to 60 days past due, then I can click on this and say, all right, let's, let's reach out to John Jackson um, and, and see what's going on. You know, maybe, maybe who knows, <laughs> who knows, right? There's a million reasons people don't pay you. Right. But again, you can get that high level view of past due invoices and you'll see that this list uh, is is shorter than what we were looking at before. That's because the initial invoices list had a bunch of paid jobs here, but you can sort you know, by status, by due date, etc. So again, really, really, really helpful tools here. Set your statuses uh, to list as quotes and invoices and then use that quote page to convert opportunities into real money right? Find those blockages, find what's holding you up, set goals, right? Like I said, if you can convert 10% of uh, your total opportunities, look at that. You convert 10% of this, that's $18,000 extra uh, that you have in your bank account, right? Anyway, if you have any questions about best practices using your quotes or invoices list, please do reach out to your dedicated success manager, or you can always reach out to us at success, that's S-U-C-C-E-S-S -S at printavo.com. We'd be happy to help. Thank you so much and have a great day.